Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scary Tubefoot here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Bafta build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the USS Enterprise CVN-65. The USS Enterprise was uh, a decommissioned United States Navy aircraft carrier. She was the first nuclear powered uh, aircraft carrier and the 8th United States naval to vessel to bear the name. Like her predecessor of World War II, she was nicknamed the Big E. Uh, she came in at a total of 342 meters, or 1,163 feet, in length and is the longest naval vessel ever built. Her 93,000 ton uh, displacement, displacement ranks her as the 12th heaviest carrier after the 10 carriers of the Nimitz class and the USS Gerald R. Ford. Enterprise had a crew complement of 4,600 service members. Uh, the only ship of her class, Enterprise, was at the time of inactivation the third oldest commissioned vessel in the United States Navy after the wooden hulled USS Constitution and USS Pueblo. She was uh, inactive, inactivated on December 1st, 2012 and officially decommissioned on February 3rd, 2017 after over 50, 55 years of service. She was stricken from the Naval Regi Vessel Register the same day. The name has been adopted by the future Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier USS Enterprise CVN-80. So uh, overall the USS Enterprise CVN-65, a very historic carrier, one of the ones that is probably the most iconic or one of the most widely known and uh, all that just because of its long extensive service record of serving for 55 years, being the only ship of its class, made it unique, and it was all around just a very uh, kind of famous uh, carrier of that, you know, kind of Cold War-esque and uh, early modern type of uh, you know time period so overall a really uh, beautiful ship and um, you know really sad that it's decommissioned but obviously we have the new Gerald, Gerald R. Fords that are uh, you know definitely a lot better over this old carrier and uh, luckily one of them will be Enterprise to carry on that legacy um, so yeah a beautiful ship for sure and our first ever modern uh, carrier so that's also a plus as well so pretty cool stuff there and um, it's absolutely massive. Um, as I guess, as I read, the ship itself comes at a length of 342 meters, and that is uh, the one-to-one -one scale of it. This is one to five, so it's five to basically that number divided by three, which is coming in about maybe about 68 or so blocks. You guys know the full length, um, obviously the video. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a huge ship even at this small scale here. Um, so. Let's go ahead and just take a look at it. Um, it's obviously really beautiful, really highly detailed. This is a ship I've actually had sitting on this world for quite some time. It's just recording a tutorial for it. It's kind of daunting just because of how big of a ship it really is. Um, but yeah, starting off with, we have obviously the front of the flight deck here. This is where the uh, aircraft would obviously be launched from. Uh, you got all the little various details and stuff like that all around it. Um, on the sides of the ship, the hull, nothing real fancy going on here. The anchors and uh, just the, you know, the siding and all that stuff. We got a little, uh, anti, uh, you know, missile, uh, you know, batteries and protection, the phalanx, and you also have um, some missile, uh, missiles located on the ship too. I don't know if they're anti-ship missiles or if they're, uh, you know, air, basically, you know, they shoot down air missiles, not really exactly sure on that one, uh, but pretty cool nonetheless. Again, more detailing all on the sides here, everything like that, various little uh, instruments, stuff like that the ship uses. And then coming back here, we got obviously some more of that missile battery type design. Um, I believe there's another phalanx over here on this side. I just went over here by the tower. And um, yeah, overall, just a really cool looking ship. We got all the elevators in place. Um, the tower itself looks, you know, awesome. Uh, it definitely stands out. You know, you have the E here, Enterprise. And then, uh, unfortunately, Minecraft and banners don't really look too good on this ship with the 65. But it's the best we can really do there. So uh, overall, really nice looking ship. And um, I love the way it came out. Hopefully, you guys are able to enjoy it and have it in your worlds. And... Uh, you know, add it to your own little BAFTA build fleet. Uh, overall, it's a really cool ship. You know, I say it's a BAFTA build, but still at this size, or this, uh, you know, shrunken down size, it's still an absolutely massive ship. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. All right, guys, moving into our first layer, we have layer number one of the build. Uh, if you guys are new to my BAFTA build tutorials, the way I like to structure these tutorials is especially for the beginning first few layers while whatever we do on one side is the same on the other side, I like to go ahead and basically do my design of doing one uh, basically half on half off. So what this means is where we have the left side of the aircraft carrier built, you're going to be going ahead and taking this uh, le left side and putting it on the right side. We're going to be going ahead and doing it on camera how to do the right side 
as well as the center line. Um, you know, once we go through the first few layers, then we're going to go ahead and do it all, uh, basically each row going up uh, together. But to start off with, it's a little bit easier to do it this way. Anyways, for us to go ahead and get started here, uh, we need to make sure that we have this marked out for how far off the water we need to go with this. So, uh, look at these light blue blocks here. This will show you where the water level is going to be. So, this section here, this layer is going to be one block underwater. Water level, again, this level here. And our next level, level, level or next layer, layer two, will be basically in line with the water here. Um, so, make sure it's one block underwater and we can go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a brick stair. After that brick stair, we're going to be placing down a long row of red terracotta that is going to go ahead and go all the way back like this, a row of 57 red terracotta blocks back from that brick stair in the front. Once, that, once that's done, on the back here, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, just like that for the back. With that done, we're going to go back up to the bow of our ship. The front, we're going to go ahead and then work our way out to the side. We're going to go ahead and go to the first three red terracotta blocks, place down cobblestone walls next to them. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a brick uh, top slab coming off the sixth red terracotta block back. So one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth red terracotta block. Yep. And then we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a brick upside down corner stair. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and 47, uh, 48 and 49 red terracotta blocks back. A lot of counting, I know, uh, but just double check, we have again 49 red terracotta blocks back. On the back here, we're going to place down a upside down brick stair like this, followed by one, two, and three end rods coming off that brick stair, followed by a sandstone slab. After that sandstone slab, we're going to go and place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a red terracotta block right behind the brick stair. If for some reason your version of Minecraft does not allow you to put end rods um, underwater, uh, you can go ahead and simply do some fence gates there to go ahead and solve that problem. Moving back up to the front, we're going to go ahead and go to this row to the outside here. We're going to go ahead and go to this, the one, two, three, and our fourth red terracotta block back. We're going to place down a brick top side coming off of it to the side, followed by a brick upside down stair. After that brick upside down stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42 red terracotta blocks back. Uh, we're then going to place down a brick upside down stair like this, followed by a brick top slab uh, to wrap that up for that row there. Going back up to the front here, we're going to go ahead and go to this row on the outside here. We're going to count back to our 1, 2, 3, 4, and our 5th red terracotta block back. We're going to place down a brick upside down stair like this, coming off this red terracotta block, followed by a brick upside down stair after it. So you have this corner stair here, upside down stair. After that, we're going to take our red terracotta, place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, um, 29, 28, or 20, sorry, 30, 31, 32, 33, blocks back, followed by a brick upside down stair and brick corner stair. Uh, just go and double check our count here, as I was a little sloppy on counting, you want to make sure, yep, it is 33 blocks back. After that, we're going to take our end rods, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, and 3, end rods going back, and uh, at our third end rod here, we're going to place down a sandstone slab like this, and then come off the sandstone slab, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair, followed by a red terracotta block right behind it. After that's done, going back up to our front, and we're basically kind of more of around our midsection here. We're going to go ahead and go to the sides. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, brick upside down stair that's going to basically come off of uh, this section here. So we have this brick uh, stair right here. We're going to go ahead and place down a brick corner stair that's going to come off of it. So like, like this, we're going to have that brick stair. We then want to place down a row of two of brick stairs back. So we're going to go back one and two brick ups and down stairs back. After that's done, we're going to take our red terracotta, place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 red terracotta blocks back. We're then going to place down a row of two of brick ups and down stairs, followed by a brick ups and down corner stair. Now along the sides here, uh, we can go ahead and grab ourselves some signs and also some stone buttons. 
We're going to go ahead and take some signs, place down your row of one, uh, two, three, four, five, and uh, we're just going to basically place down signs all on the side here. Um, I think on the newer versions of Minecraft, you can put signs underwater. I'm not 100% sure, or you should be able to put them down in general. Um, but yeah, just signs here to add a little bit of detail to the side of the hole. And then the last uh, three blocks on both sides here, we're gonna actually have st stone buttons here. So again, just a little bit of detailing on the hole there. It's nothing fancy or special or anything like that, uh, but just adds a nice little detail to it. So basically, we're gonna take what we do on the right side here and flip it over to the left side. You can see you have basically um, the very bottom of the hull of the ship here. And you, you can really see that, you know, it looks pretty good. And, you know, we have a nice shape. You get a nice you know, general idea on how big the ship's actually going to be. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, with that, that's it for layer uh, one. Let's move on to layer two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer number two. So layer two, this layer here is going to be in line with the water level. So as you can see right here, comparing these blocks here, it's in line with the water level like that. Anyways, for us to go ahead and continue on, we're going to go to the first red terracotta block up here for the bow of our ship. We're going to place down a red terracotta block on top of it. We then want to go ahead and go one, two, three, and four blocks back. Going out to the sides, we're going to place down a red terracotta block on this uh, brick top slab, followed by one, two, three, four, and five back. We're then going to go ahead and go to the br this brick top slab out to the side, place down a red terracotta block, followed by one, two, three, four, five that go back. Again, out to the side of this brick corner stair, we're going to place down a red terracotta block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, uh, and uh, yeah, five blocks back. Uh, when that's done, that's going to be a row of six here. This is a row of six, and this here is a row of six. So, pretty standard across there. We're then going to take our red terracotta blocks, place them down all the way along this outside row. So, all the way back here until we get to this brick uh, up, upside down corner stair. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, back like this, uh, 11, and we're actually going to go 12 and 13, so this is going to be a row of 13 red terracotta blocks in total. With that done, uh, we're going to place down a row of brick top slabs, so 1 and 2 brick top slabs like this going back. We're then going to take a red terracotta blocks on the inside here to place down 1 and 2 red terracotta blocks like that. After that's done, come off these brick top slabs, we're going to place it place down two more red terracotta blocks back like this, followed by a iron trapdoor like that. Next row over here, we're going to go ahead and take our red terracotta, place down one more block back. After that red terracotta block, we're going to place down a brick uh, upside down stair like so. After that brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and uh, sorry, just three brick top sides back. And then we want to take our iron trapdoors and place down two iron trapdoors back like that. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and take our red terracotta going on along the inside here. We're going to place down one, two, and three red terracotta blocks. We then want to place down a uh, brick upside down stair that's going to be coming off this brick or this red terracotta block here. We're then going to place down two red terracotta blocks back followed by a brick top slab. In the middle space here, we're going to place down a row of four of red terracotta, then three brick top slabs like that to finish off the back there. Looking at, from out, looking at it from above, this is what your back should look like. You're going to take what we do over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side, and once you have that all complete, that is going to uh, wrap it up for layer two. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer three. All right, guys, moving into layer three. Layer three is going to be the last layer that we're going to be going ahead and doing half on, half off, as once we get in, past this point, it's going to get really asymmetrical for the build. So for us to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a row three of polished andesite on top of the first three red terracotta blocks in the front here. Coming off this first polished andesite block here, toward the front, we're going to place down a brick upside down stair like so, or sorry, a stone brick upside down stair. We then want to go ahead and go to the sides of these uh, last two polished andesite blocks, place down two cobblestone walls, followed by a stone brick upside down stair. After that, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks, followed by three cobblestone walls along these three polished andesite blocks. Going back to these cobblestone walls, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight cobblestone walls back, and on the last five, all stand site blocks, we're going to place down a row of five of cobblestone walls like that along the side there. Once uh, that's done, we're going to continue on by taking our polished dance site. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six polished dance site blocks back like this. Uh, when that's done, we're going to take our cobblestone walls and place down a row of three of cobblestone walls on the last three polished dance site blocks. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 polished andesite blocks uh, like that going back. 
Uh, when, that, when that's done there, we're going to take our polished anisate. Uh, go ahead and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 blocks back along the side here. We're also going to take cobblestone walls and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 cobblestone walls on the first 5 polished anisate blocks. Going back to this row here, we're going to take our stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a corner stair, or a regular stair coming off of it. So this turns into a corner stair, this turns into an upside down stair, this is a regular stair, we're going to go ahead and place down one and two more back like that. Once that's done, uh, across this row right here, uh, over here on the right side, we're going to place down a yellow uh, wool block, and then it's just going to be a row for polished dance to connect us up to the other side. And you're going to go ahead and take what we did over here on the right side, flip it over to the left side and you have kind of your outline here and this is like your first level of the ship that's actually going to be out of the water. Now one thing also to um, basically throw in there and mention is that uh, this back section here is slightly different depending on what your side you're on. So to go ahead and to set that up, it's really simple. We're going to go ahead and go to this polished anisite block here. We're going to place down a stone brick up down the stair that comes off of it. Coming off the side of this stone brick stair, we're going to place down one and two stone brick top zebs over to the side. Going from this uh, stone brick top slab here, we're going to go ahead and go forward. One, two, three, and four polished or stone brick top slabs like that forward. And on the very end of these stone brick top slabs here, to the back, we're going to place down two iron trap doors. And this is going to be on the left side and the left side only of the ship. Over here on the right side is pretty much uh, how we had it before. Uh, but basically, everything else is going to be pretty much the same there. So let's go ahead and make that little adjustment there on the back. And everything else forward is all going to be the same on both sides. With that all complete, that is going to finish layer three. With that, let's move into layer four. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer four. Layer four is where it's gonna start to get a little bit more complicated as we have a lot more stuff going on here. And uh, by a lot more, I mean a lot more. So at this point, we're gonna be basically having to build everything that we see here. It's every, all this is going to have to be built uh, for this whole layer all the way around here. Uh, there's really no escaping it just because it's asymmetrical so we can't just do one side and copy it over to the other. So for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a polished anisite block on top of this stone brick stair here. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go to both sides of this polished anisite block and place down a stone brick upside down stair like this for the front. Going back from the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down one more stone brick stair back. Same thing over here, and we can also place down a polished anisite block in the middle in between those uh, stone brick stairs. Uh, on the sides here, we're going we're to go ahead and want to place down a string that is going to be one level down below, and we're going to have a anvil that's going to sit on top of the string. So uh, we're going to do the same thing over here. So we should have a string that comes out on this level here, and then we're going to have an anvil that sits on top of it like that to go ahead and create the anchors. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and take our polished anisite, and we're going to go ahead and focus in on the right side to begin with. So for the right side here, we're going to take our polished dance site. We're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four blocks back. Uh, actually, sorry, we're going to do five blocks back, sorry. So just like that. After that's done, we're going to be going ahead and going to the third polished dance site block, placing down a stone brick top slab, followed by a second one after it. We then want to place down a stone brick, uh, starting a stone brick uh, upside down stair like this, and then come off the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a stair like this upside down, so that's a corner stair. We have a regular stair, followed by a second regular stone brick stair, and then a polished anisite block. After that polished anisite block, we're going to be going ahead and going back with a uh, row of six more after it. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six more polished anisite blocks uh, back from it like so. We then want to place down a row of one, two, and three cobblestone walls coming off these last three polished anisite blocks, followed by one and two polished anisite blocks like that. Once that's done, coming off this second polished anisite block here, we're going to be placing down a stone brick top slab, coming off of it to the side like so, followed by one and two polished anisite blocks after it. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and come to this section here where we have the uh, first, uh, basically, ramp here that we need to put in. So for this ramp here, what we're going to do is we're going to be going ahead and placing down a cobblestone wall, coming off this polished anisite block, followed by a polished anisite block behind this cobblestone wall. Now with that uh, all finished there, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our polished dance and place down a row of, of uh, four coming off of it. So one, two, three, and four across like this. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall on this side, followed by a polished dance I block right behind it like so to fill that space in. Now coming off this uh, to the side here, uh, we're going to go ahead and put in our uh, ramp or uh, our first elevator. So for our first elevator here, obviously you can change where these are located. You can have them up on deck level, you can have them down um, below. 
Uh, for my carrier here, I have them all down at the level right here, as it's pretty easy for yourself. If you do want to go ahead and raise the platform up, you'll just take this design and raise it up to whatever level you want. You can have it like maybe in the midsection, or you can have it raised up to the very top there. Um, but mine are all down like this, so uh, we're going to be going and copying it um, with them all down. So to go ahead and begin with, the first thing uh, we want to do here is we want to go ahead and uh, take our stone brick stairs, and we'll be placing down two stone brick stairs here, like this, facing each other on the middle, two polished anti blocks. So just like this on both sides here, and then a stone brick top stabbed to both sides like that. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and take our uh, polished dance site. We're gonna place down a row of two polished dance site, come up those two stone brick stairs, followed by a stone brick upside down stair to both sides of this row of two polished dance site. Uh, we then wanna go ahead and just take our uh, stone brick top slab, or sorry, stone brick stairs again. We're gonna go ahead and place down two stone brick stairs facing each other again, like that across the middle, followed by a stone brick top slab to both sides. And then coming off the ends here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a row of of uh, four of polished anisite blocks or sorry we're gonna place down a row of three uh, so we're gonna have the row of three kind of like offset like that so toward the front there we're gonna have a stone brick up sound stair come off this direction toward the back and then a stone brick up sound stair come off of it toward the front uh, with that done we're going to grab ourselves some skeleton skulls and we're going to be placing down a skeleton skull on both these stone brick stairs and we also want to take stone buns and place down stone buns on these polished anisite blocks uh, with that done that's going to finish your first elevator there um, once that's done, we're going to take our polished anisite blocks and we then want to place down a row of what is going to be six polished anisite blocks back. So on the long side here, one, two, three, four, five, and six polished anisite blocks back. Now on the side here, we have a little bit of uh, detailing like little catwalks and stuff like that on the side. So for this, real simply, we're going to go ahead and just place down uh, one and two stone brick slabs, stone brick stair, stone brick slab, stone brick stair, stone brick slab. And then we want to take signs, place them down on the slabs and the stairs along here on the side here, just to give it a little bit more of a kind of catwalk or walkway type look on the side there. With uh, that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a cobblestone wall that's going to come off this polished anisite block and then another polished anisite block after that cobblestone wall. Now with that all done there, we're going to go ahead and build another one of these ramps. So it's going to be kind of copying the same uh, design format uh, pretty much exactly. So we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three, or sorry, row of four of polished anisite. Uh, cobblestone wall on this side and polished anisite block behind it. We're going to go ahead and place down our two stone brick stairs facing each other on both sides like this. Stone brick top slabs on both ends. Two polished anisite blocks. Stone brick upside down stair on both ends. Uh, we're then going to place down a stone brick top slab both sides. Our upside down stone brick stairs like this. A row of three of polished anisite on the front there, followed by a stone brick upside down stair back on this side. Skeleton skull coming off the front of it. Same thing over here, skeleton skull coming off, off the front of it, and then three buttons on these polished anti blocks. So the exact same thing as this uh, ramp up here. Uh, with that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to work our way back. We're going to be placing down a row of nine of polished anti blocks back. So we're going to go ahead and do a row of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine polished anti blocks back like that. When that's uh, done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall that is going to... Uh, come off this polished anisite block and then a polished anisite block right behind that cobblestone wall and at this point here we're going to build have one of our uh, one of our uh, elevators again so uh, one two three four uh, polished anisite blocks cobblestone wall polished anisite block right behind it now uh, before we go and get into that, to that um, into that elevator right here we do have some detailing to do in between um, these elevators so for these really simply we're going to go and place down a row of two of stone brick slabs and this is going to start right after the cobblestone wall here so one and two stone brick slabs followed by a row of three of polished anisite followed by a second row of three of polished anisite coming off of it we then want to place down a row of four of stone brick slabs back we also want to take our wooden signs and we're going to take signs and place them down all along the sides here of these stone brick slabs so all the way along the side here just like that same thing up here like so and that right there will do this for a little balcony here on the side. Uh, with that done, we have our elevator here that we need to put in. So again, copying the same design we've been doing for the uh, other elevators on the front, we're gonna go take our stone brick stairs, place on two stone brick stairs facing each other like this, two polished anisite blocks, stone brick upside down stair on both sides, two stone brick stairs facing each other, a stone brick top slab to both sides like this, a row of three of polished anisite, stone brick upside down stair on this side, Skeleton skull coming off of it, same thing over here, like this, and our stone buttons like that. 
So as you can see, we have our three elevators put in on the side here, like that. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple stuff right there overall. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and go back from this polished andesite block, and this is going to be a long row going all the way toward the back here. So this row in total is going to be a total of 13 blocks back to the rear of the ship. So we're going to go ahead and start off by going to this polished andesite block. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 blocks back, and it should end on top of this stone brick stair. Uh, with that done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, iron trap doors and some stone brick slabs as we're going to be going in and doing some of the catwalks on the side here. So to go ahead and begin with, we're going to go to the polished andesite block right after this cobblestone wall. We're going to place down one and two stone brick top slabs out to the side, followed by uh, two iron trap doors coming off to the side after it. When that's done, going back from this first stone brick top slab, we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, and three, and actually, sorry, four stone brick top slabs back in total. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone brick, a stone brick stair, and more stone brick slabs for this row uh, back here. We're going to go ahead and go off this polished andesite block, place down a stone brick stair, followed by one, two, three, four, five, and six stone brick slabs forward. And on the sides of these stone brick slabs and the stone br brick stair, we're going to place down signs all the way along the side here, like so. And just like that. Once that's done, you can see your right side starting to get really developed and um, pretty much. Uh, really starting to get there in design. Uh, we now are going to transition onto the back. So for the back of the ship, we're going to place down a uh, what is going to be a sandstone slab right here, and then we want to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall directly behind it, which we'll go ahead and grab from right here. So a cobblestone wall directly behind it, and also over this iron trap door right here, we want to place down a polished andesite block. It was over here on this side, but we want to make sure that's on both sides there to cover that space up. Um, anyways, once that's done. Going off this cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a total of two polished andesite blocks over, followed by two stone brick slabs, and we also want to take some signs and place them down on the sandstone slab and also the stone brick slabs. Uh, once that's done, coming to this section here, we're going to place down two cobblestone walls over like this. On the bottom of this cobblestone wall here, we want to make sure there's a polished andesite block to fill in that space there. Uh, we're then going to place down a stone brick stair like so, and then coming off the stone brick stair toward the front, or toward the back, sorry, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like this. Uh, after that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, come off the stone brick stair, fall by an iron trap door on this stone brick upside down stair. We want to place down a wooden sign coming off that iron trap door like that. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go into our creative menu. We want to grab ourselves an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame on the side of this iron trap door. We also want to go ahead and uh, grab ourselves our polished andesite blocks. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, and three of polished andesite blocks along the side here. And then we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair. Actually, sorry, it's going to be a row of two, followed by a stone brick stair like this on the end here. Now, after that's done, we're going to place down a narrow iron trap door. Throw off this stone brick stair with a item frame to the side here of it and a sign like this on this side. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, snow block that is going to come off of this, the uh, stone brick stair right next to it and a lever like that faced uh, upwards like that for the uh, phalanx or um, the, um, forget the name of it, but you know, like the little uh, thing that uh, is able to fire all those bullets and shoot out missiles out of the sky. After that, we're gonna place down a uh, stone brick stair back from it, a polished andesite block, stone brick stair, and um, at this point right here, uh, we can go ahead and go from the back of the stone brick stair and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six polished andesite blocks across like that to bring it to the side here. Now at this point right here, we're going to go ahead and start working on the uh, port side or left side of the ship. So as I'm, you know, as it's kind of becoming apparent, it's definitely going to be very long for these uh, few layers that we have um, with it being different on both sides here. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive into it. So uh, basically after this stone brick stair here, we'll be placing down a row of what is going to be five polished andesite blocks. So after this, we're going to do one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks forward. Along those five polished andesite blocks, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick ups and down stairs. Also, on the side here of these stone brick stairs, we're going to go ahead and want to take some signs and place down wooden signs along the stone brick stairs and polished andesite block like that along the side. With uh, that finished off there, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, polished andesite block. That's going to be after this row of five, so it's going to be one more polished andesite block right there after that row of five polished andesite, and then it's going to come out one more to the side like that. We then want to place down a uh, row of two of stone brick top slabs that come off of it. So one and two out to the side. And we're also going to place down an iron trap door, come off this stone brick stair here with signs around the sides of it. So just like that. 
with uh, that finished there, we're going to have another one of these elevators. So we want to go ahead and go from this uh, polished anti block here. So this row right here, we're going to go one, two, three, and four polished anti blocks forward. And we're going to go ahead and basically build our elevator off of it. So we're going to place down two stone brick stairs upside down that are going to be facing each other. So just like this, two stone brick top steps here on both ends, two polished anti blocks, stone brick uh, upside down stair to both sides. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab both sides, two stone brick stairs upside down facing each other, a row of, uh, or this uh, this row is going to be a little bit different, so going toward the front, one, two, and three polished anti blocks, stone brick upside down stair at this end, stone brick upside down stair at that end. Uh, we want to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull on both ends. And then we also want to go ahead and uh, grab our stone buttons and place down stone buttons, come off these polished anti blocks on the side here. One, two, three. Like that along the side. Uh, with that all finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall next to this uh, polished anti block here, and we're going to place down a uh, polished anti block right behind it. We could go to this section here too and place down a cobblestone wall with a polished anti block behind it as well. Uh, it's not completely needed though, as this area is kind of closed off with uh, walkways and balconies and stuff like that, uh, but we can go ahead and do it just for the uh, heck of it. Anyways, uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to place down a polished anti block. Uh, coming off this one right here like this, followed by a stone brick stair, and then a stone brick slab back from that stone brick stair. Now on the front of the stone brick stair and stone brick slab, we're going to place down some uh, wooden signs like this. And we can go ahead and then grab ourselves some black wool. And we can place down a black wool block right behind the stone brick slab, like so. Uh, once that's done, coming off the stone brick slab, we're going to place down one, two, and three polished anti blocks. We then want to place down a row of two stone brick slabs, so one and two, and then on the inside here we can place down a row of two black wool and uh, signs here along these two stone brick slabs. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and uh, place down a polished anti block after the stone brick slab, and then we want to go ahead and come out to the side with a stone brick upside down stair. We're going to place down a row of three of stone brick upside down stairs. We have one, two, and three stone brick stairs back like that. When that's finished there, we're going to place down a regular stone brick stair. So one like this with a sign coming off of it. We then want to place down a stone brick slab. And on the inside here of the stone brick slab, we're going to place down a uh, black wool block like that. And then at this point right here, we're going to be placing down a row of four stone brick slabs coming off this one. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four. And we're going to take our black wool and place down a row of four black wool to close that space off. Now, uh, we also have this little uh, boat that could be deployed from the ship. Uh, probably like a little... Uh, I, I really don't know. A little uh, boat to go and look up its ships or evacuation lifeboat. I don't know. Uh, probably can serve as both, but basically it's a small little boat. Uh, it's going to be a quartz stair on the side of the stone brick slab here. Uh, we're going to go and do a quartz full block behind it, quartz, and then two quartz slabs back. On the side of the quartz, uh, this first quartz slab here, we're going to place down a wooden sign, and then on the side and front of the stair, we're going to place down two wooden signs as well. Uh, with that done, we're going to go ahead and take our polished anti blocks. We're going to place down one and two out to the side like that. After that second polished anti block here, we're going to place down two black wool blocks, and then taking our stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick stairs, like so. Uh, on the back of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished anti block. We can also place down one after the black wool blocks there. Uh, we then want to place down a row of what is going to be five black wool blocks going toward the front. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. And then uh, we're going to start off by placing down a row of four of stone brick slabs followed by two stone brick stairs like this. And then on the stone brick slabs here, we're gonna go and take signs and put down signs along the side there, like so. Uh, with that done, we're gonna go and take a polished anti block, place down a polished anti block after the stone brick stair here. We then wanna place down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by a stone brick top slab. And after the stone brick top slab, we're gonna place down a polished anti block, followed by a stone brick upside down stair. We then want to go ahead and grab a cobblestone wall. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall coming off this uh, stone brick stair like so. And on the inside here, next to this stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished anti block. Also one next to this cobblestone wall. Come off this polished anti block, we're going to go ahead and go one more forward. We then want to place down two stone brick stairs like this, followed by two black wool blocks on the inside of those stone brick stairs. Uh, after that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. Come off this stair here, followed by a row of one, two, three. Uh, polished anti blocks coming off the first polished anti block, a stone brick top slab, followed by a stone brick upside down stair, stone brick top slab, and then come off this upside down stair one more time and place down a stone brick top slab out to the side. Next to this uh, polished anti block here, we're going to place down a narrow stone brick upside down stair, 
Uh, on the inside here, we're going to place down each stone brick upside down stair like so, followed by a second one after it. And on the inside here, we're going to place down two black wool blocks next to them. Uh, coming off the front of the stairs, we're going to place down two polished andesite blocks forward, followed by one and two upside down stone brick stairs, a stone brick upside down corner stair, one and two stone brick top slabs. And on the inside here are these top slabs, we're going to place down uh, in the corner stair here, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished andesite blocks, which are going to go up and connect up to the very front bow of the ship like so. Basically with layer uh, three complete, or sorry, layer four, you can uh, see that we have a lot of the air, the uh, carriers starting to go here, the elevators, uh, the detailing, all that stuff, and uh, you can, you can definitely see that uh, a, lot, a, lot, a lot of, uh, yeah, it's a lot uh, for sure. But anyways, once you have that complete, you have layer four complete. And uh, with that, it's only gonna get easier. So let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, so moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, to go ahead and begin with, we're gonna go ahead and place down a polished anti block coming off this one, going toward the front like so, so it's coming off of it like an angle going forward. We're then gonna place down a stone brick upside down stair here on both sides of the polished anti block. So again, a uh, stone brick stair on both sides of it like so. Once that's done, I'm gonna place down a stone button that's going to come off the slab going toward the front here. And then on uh, basically behind the slabs across, we're going to place down a row of three of black wool right behind it just to kind of close it off and everything like that. On both sides of the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a, or sorry, a stone brick stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by a second upside down stair back. And we're also going to place down a third one back again on both sides. At this point here, we're going to go ahead and start working on our two sides separately. So to begin with, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door that's going to come off of this uh, stone brick stair here, upside down one, and also this one on both sides there. Uh, but once that's done, we're going to take our polished andesite. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, and uh, we have uh, four. Uh, we're going to go, and go five, six, and seven polished andesite blocks back on the side of the first uh, polished andesite blocks here. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five iron trap doors. We then want to take our stone brick top size, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three stone brick top size back, and we're going to place down a narrow polished anti block uh, back like that. Now, uh, once that's all done there, uh, we do have one thing on the side of the ship here, which should have been added on in the previous layer, but I forgot to add that on. So that's something we're going to go ahead and add on now. Uh, but basically, it's going to be adding on this little pop off uh, on the side here. So after this uh, stone brick stair here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four. Of polished anti block or sorry stone brick top sides like this followed by one that comes off this one right here um, so that was from the previous layer just going for that on now now once that's done after those stone brick top subs there we're gonna go ahead and want to place place down a row of three of polished anti blocks so one two and three polished anti blocks back now uh, with that out of the way uh, we need to go ahead and make a little platform that sticks off the side here so for this uh, we also had something from the previous layer that we need to include uh, we have our iron trap doors we're gonna place down one uh, iron trap door coming off each one of these stone brick top slabs, uh, especially one right come off this right here. And then we want to go ahead and uh, place down um, an additional two coming off these ones, one like this, and then one also right there. So basically, you get something that kind of looks like this on the side here for this platform. It's uh, nothing real fancy, just pretty simple and straightforward. Um, and then on this platform itself, we're going to grab ourselves an anvil. Along with a skeleton skull, we're placed down an anvil on the middle iron tra iron trap door here with a skeleton skull on both sides of it like this for the little, uh, you know, missile pods on the side of the ship. Uh, with that done, after that polished anti block, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair, followed by uh, what is going to be two polished anti blocks back. After those two polished anti blocks back, we're going to place down a uh, iron trap door and a stone brick slab that are going to come off these, so an iron trap door and a stone brick top slab can off these fall by one and two polished anti blocks back from that now uh, back from this point here we're going to go ahead and place down a near iron trap door that comes off this polished anti block fall by a polished anti block coming off that iron trap door and then come off this polished anti block we're going to place down an iron trap door again um, at this point here we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair that is going to be coming off this stone brick slab here so a stone brick upside down stair, followed by one and two polished anti blocks back from the stair, and also again an iron trap door coming out to the side there. Um, now at this point here, we're going to go ahead and start to kind of get into our uh, elevator a little bit. So for this, we're going to need to place down a row of what is going to be one, two, 
and three polished andesite blocks across, and then we're gonna have a stone brick, or sorry, a row of four, my bad, and then a stone brick top slab like that in the end. Or actually, my bad, it's gonna be a row of three rows right, and then a stone brick top slab, and then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a iron bar and place down an iron bar like that. Now, once that's done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and go up from this cobblestone wall. We're gonna place down one more cobblestone wall up, polished andesite block behind it like we were doing, and we then want to take our black wool blocks and place down a row of black wool. That's going to go ahead and go across here in between those polished andesite blocks. And that's going to kind of close off the hangar deck area from the uh, elevator on the outside here. On the elevator itself, we want to go ahead and go to these polished andesite blocks here. We're going to place down a row of three of stone buttons. And then on the rest of the elevator itself, we're going to go ahead and just place down a gray carpet. So pretty simple there. And we then want to place down a iron bar on top of these. The skeletons go on this side. Anyways, once that's done, go ahead and get teaming on. We're going to go ahead and take our iron trap doors. Coming off this uh, end rod, or this uh, iron bar, we're going to place down iron trap door, followed by one more back. We then want to place down a stone brick top slab. So stone brick tops, top slab, and then a stone brick half slab after it. And then after that, we're going to have a polished andesite block that connects up here. We then want to go ahead and go up from this cobblestone wall, one more, and then a polished andesite block on the inside there. So you have something like this on the side here for your first elevator up front here. Uh, when that's done, we're going to go ahead and go from the cobblestone wall. We're going to go ahead and place down a row uh, in total of six of polished andesite. So we have uh, one block already. We're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, and five more back to go ahead and make the side here. We then want to go ahead and uh, do some of the, the detail in here. So for this, we're going to go ahead and place down two stone brick stairs. So we have one and two stone brick stairs, followed by one and two polished andesite blocks. Behind these stone brick stairs, we're actually going to go ahead and replace these two polished andesite blocks with black wool, just to kind of close this off from the outside there. Uh, with that done, we're going to do basically the same thing we did up here. So a stone brick slab coming off this polished andesite block, stone brick top slab. We then want to place down two iron trap doors going forward. On top of this, uh, end, on top of this end rod right here, or actually, uh, it's... Uh, going to be one iron trap door, so my bad, one less, and we're going to have a iron bar on top of this skeleton skull, like that. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall on top of this one here, polished andesite block on top of this. We're going to take our black wool blocks, place down a row of one, uh, two, three, and four along the side here, polished andesite block, cobblestone wall like this, and then we're going to go and do the same thing to the platform we did for the other one, so row four stone buttons, and then the rest filled in with gray carpet like this to create the uh, deck of it. So just like that. And then once that's done, going out to the side here, we're going to place down a polished andesite block from off this cobblestone wall. And then we want to place down a narrow polished andesite block coming off of it out to the side here. Now uh, for this polished andesite block here, this uh, section, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically be building this kind of pole that comes off the uh, side here. So uh, for this section here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take our, or actually my bad, I was a little bit further away. I was like, why is that not working? And it made, makes sense now that I was looking at the wrong thing. Anyways, we're gonna place down a stone brick uh, upside down stair. That's coming off this polished andesite block, followed by uh, one and two iron trap doors coming forward, and then a uh, iron bar here on this skeleton skull like that. Now, once that's done, uh, we want to go ahead and do kind of an alternating pattern along the side here and place down a stone brick stair. Um, so after this, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair next to this. We then want to place down a polished andesite block, followed by a stone brick top slab, polished andesite block, another row of one, two, three, and four stone brick ups and down stairs. Behind these stairs here, we're going to place down polished andesite blocks. And then behind this polished, this uh, stone brick top slab here, we're going to place down a black wool block, uh, basically to fill in that space there, and we can just make this a nice row of polished andesite across on both sides. So. Uh, that's going to kind of do it there for the side uh, section there. We want to go ahead and then uh, place down an iron trap door, come off this one to the side here like so. We're going to grab ourselves a quartz slab and we're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off of this iron trap door and then a quartz and then an iron trap door coming off it to connect up to this polished andesite block. For this side here, we're going to place down an iron trap door going out to the side, a quartz top slab. Uh, we're then going to place down a second quartz top slab after it, followed by one and two iron trap doors back. Uh, coming off the second iron trap or this uh, first iron trap door, we're gonna place down an iron trap door like this, and then we want to place down an iron trap door. Come off this stone brick stair, followed by a iron bar that is gonna go ahead and go on this skeleton skull here. So just like that. 
With uh, that done, uh, the next row here, we're going to go ahead and go to this cobblestone wall, place down a cobblestone wall on top of this one, polish the inside block to the side of it, and also right here. Uh, we're, going to go, we're going to go ahead and then place down a row four, black wall across, polish the inside block, cobblestone wall, and then we're going to go and do the same thing here for the elevator. So taking our gray carpet, stone buttons, basically going ahead and uh, putting this on the top here. So just like that. Uh, with that done, uh, for our next row here, we're going to go and take our polished dance. We're going to place down one and two polished dance blocks across here. We then want to switch to a stone brick, uh, which actually should be a polished dance block. I don't know why it's not. Uh, so we're going to place down a third polished dance block out to the side. Uh, that's going to then follow up with a stone brick slab. We're then going to place down a stone brick stair like this, followed by a quartz slab. And on uh, the two sides here of the quartz slab, we're going to place down two signs like this and then on the skeleton skull we're going to place down a uh, iron bar going up like that uh, with that done we're going to take our polished dance site and we want to go and place down a row on the inside here that's going to go back so in total this is going to be a row of uh, eight blocks so we already have one so we're going to go ahead and go two three four five six and seven blocks so we have a row of eight from this from this point here and then we're going to place down a uh, stone brick top slab so we'll grab a stone brick slab here, place down a stone brick top slab, followed by another uh, one uh, polished anside block. And then when we get to this section here, we're going to take our stone brick stairs, we're going to place down a row of two stone brick upside down stairs. So we have one and two upside down stairs. And then this is going to be uh, basically a polished anside block toward the back here. And for some reason that is not actually lining up here. So hang on, let me... Figure this out. We're gonna move this polished dance site block back and these stone brick stairs back one more. Delete this one, polished dance site block, and the stone brick top slab. So I probably miscounted here, uh, but basically this row right here should be a row of what is going to be nine. And then over here, let's go and count here to make sure we have a row of nine. So yeah, I just miscounted there, so just make sure your row looks something like that. Now, anyways, once that's done, we do have a little bit more stuff to do. Uh, on the side here, we're gonna go and take our polished dance site and we wanna go ahead and place down a row of five coming off this polished dance block here. So one, two, three, four, and five. With that done, uh, coming off of it, we're gonna go and place down a row of stone brick top slabs coming off of it. So we're gonna go and place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five stone brick top slabs. Uh, with that done, we're gonna go and take our quartz. We're gonna go and place down a quartz, row of two quartz top slabs here along the side, and then one uh, quartz top slab coming off this uh, top slab here. And we wanna go ahead and also place down a stone top slab coming off this stone brick top slab. We then wanna take signs and we're gonna go ahead and put signs around the sides here of these uh, quartz top slabs. And then right here in this spot right here, we're gonna go ahead and place down a uh, item frame. So just like that. And then uh, behind these stone brick stairs, stone brick slabs, we're gonna go ahead and take black wool and just place down black wool behind them like that to kind of close them off. Um, now when we get to this section here, uh, we're going to go and start to get into the back. Now one thing we do need to modify here is that we can't actually have black wool blocks here just because it is going to affect the inside, so we can't really do that. However, we could have a black wool block on the first stair there. But anyways, the second stair we need to place down a stone brick stair on top of that cobblestone wall, followed by a stone brick slab that comes off of it toward the back. We want to place down a wooden sign on the side of the stone brick slab, and we're going to then place down a quartz slab like this. Next to the quartz slab, we're going to place down a snow block, like so. And around the snow block, we're going to go and take signs and wrap it around it, like so. With uh, that finished off, we're going to go and continue focusing on the back here. We're going to place down two stone brick ups and down stairs next to the stairs, so two stone brick stairs. Over here on the other side, we're going to go and place down two cobblestone walls on top of these two cobblestone walls. On, uh, top, of the, uh, on top of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a end rod, and then an end rod coming off of it to the side. We're gonna place down uh, two polished dance blocks right here on top of these two. And then coming off of the uh, pol polished dance block toward the back, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull. And we then wanna go ahead and place down a iron trap door. That's gonna go ahead and go on this polished dance block to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and place down a sign on these two sides of the iron trap door. Once uh, that's all complete there, we're gonna go ahead and take our, we're gonna take a, our polished dance site. We're gonna go ahead and go from this black wool block to a row of what is going to be five polished dance site blocks across to that point there, just kind of close that area off. Uh, with that, we're going to go and then place down a stone brick upside down stair like this, followed by a second one, and then a stone brick corner stair like that coming off of it. After that stone brick corner stair, we're going to go ahead and go forward, and we're going to go one, two, three, 
four and five stone brick stairs forward like that coming off the third to last stair we're gonna go ahead and place down two stone brick slabs out to the side so we're gonna go ahead and go to the stair right here place down one and two stone brick slabs out to the side you want to make sure they're at the at this level here and on the very end of it we're gonna place down a snow block and on both sides of these stone brick slabs we're gonna go ahead and place down uh, wooden signs like this to kind of make it more like a catwalk. We then want to take iron trap doors and on the bottom of these stone brick slabs uh, we're gonna place down some iron trap doors like that out to the side there. Uh, with that finished going to this section here we're gonna take our polished anti blocks starting on top of this cobblestone wall. We're gonna place down one, two, three, four, um, and five out to the side like that. Once that's done there we're gonna take our black wool blocks. We're gonna go back to this point here. We're gonna create a row of black wool like this so it kind of comes off this one at a corner here we can just go and bring this polished dance I block back if we really wanted to just kind of close it off there but just like, just like that a row of uh, black wool right there um, when that's done we're gonna go and take our stone buttons place down a row of four and like we've been doing for our uh, elevators here we're just gonna go and do the same thing so putting our gray carpet down all like this and you have your elevator here on the left side in the back just like that with that done, we're going to go and place down an air polished anti block on top of this one. Cobblestone wall that goes up from it. Uh, we then want to place down a polished anti block right here on top of this one, followed by a stone brick up down stair that comes off of it. And then, um, actually, my bet it's going to be a polished anti block. And after that polished anti block, we are then going to place down two stone brick top steps coming off of it toward the front here. So we're going to do one and two going toward the front. And then we just want to place down a uh, iron bar on top of this skeleton skull. So, just like that. Uh, with that done there, we're gonna go ahead and continue on. We're gonna place down a polished anti block back from this one here, followed by again, two stone brick top stabs out to the side. Um, once that's done there, actually this is going to be a row of three. Uh, no, more, more, no, actually I'm right, I'm right, sorry. Uh, it completely ignore me there. Uh, but then we're gonna go ahead and place down a polished anti block here, followed by one more come that comes off of it. There's stone brick top side of the side here. And then this right here is just going to basically be a row of polished dance set across. So where we have one block and we're going to place down five more. So we have one, two, three, four, and five like this along the side here. And actually it's going to be six. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a row of six here. And then we're going to place down stone brick top slabs all along the side here like so. And also on top here to cover up these stone brick slabs here, we can also go and place down polished dance side blocks just to kind of close it up. From the top here if you're looking at it, at it you can't see into the um, carrier there um, once uh, that's done there we're gonna take our polished dance site we're gonna place down a row a row three right here and then coming off this row three we're gonna place down three more polished dance site blocks out to the side followed by a row three of stone brick top slabs uh, coming off this row three of stone brick top slabs we're gonna place down one and two and three iron trap doors and then going back we want to take our iron trap doors and we're gonna place down a row of one two three four five six seven uh, iron trap doors back all the way to that iron bar. Uh, going ahead to go into this section here, uh, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, what is going to be a polished anside block that is going to kind of go kind of come off this one, so it's going to kind of kind of come off to the back here like this. And then we're going to go ahead and take our black wool, place down another row of black wool across here, and then we can actually place down. Uh, well, no, we'll just leave that polished anside; it'll probably be better. Um, so from that, we're gonna go ahead and then place down our stone brick slabs coming off of it. So we're gonna be placing down a row of three out to the side. So one, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And at this point here, we're gonna place down one top slab and then we wanna go ahead and grab end rods. And we're gonna be placing down two end rods, one on top of this quartz slab and one on top of this quartz pull block. And then coming off these iron trap doors out to the, or sorry, these end rods out to the side, we're gonna place down a stone brick top slab like that on both sides. Uh, with that done, we're going to take our stone brick top slabs, place down a row of three, one, two, three. And we want to take our iron trap doors and continue the row on the side here. So we're going to go with one, two, and three more forward. And on the second to last one here, we're going to place down one iron trap door that sticks out. We then want to take our stone brick top slabs, we're going to place down one and two. And actually, sorry, three stone brick top slabs that stick out to the side. We then want to place down a iron trap door. We're gonna go ahead and uh, continue on by placing down a polished anti-site block come up this black wool block, fall by one and two out to the side. Um, so this is a row three here, stone brick top slab, and then a iron trap door like that that sticks out to the um, side here. And it's actually, we're gonna go ahead and skip a space 
and then place the iron trap door so it sticks out by a space like so <clears throat> with that done there uh we're gonna go and take our polished dance site we're gonna place down a long row along the side here so this is gonna be a row of what is going to be uh 10 blocks so along the side here we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine blocks we can go ahead and uh then fill the space in like this and uh, we want to go, go one more block back so we have a row of 10 there once that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like this, followed by a stone brick stair coming after it. After this, coming off the stone brick stair at an angle going toward the inside, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair like this. Polished inside block, and a stone brick upside down stair with a stone brick upside down corner stair. Uh, so this is going to be upside down corner stair, regular stair, <clears throat> and then it looks like this along the side here. Uh, when that's all finished here, we also want to go ahead and take our stone brick top sub. So we're going to go ahead and place down a top sub, <clears throat> coming off this stone brick stair like this. And then coming off the two upside down stairs here and the polished hand side blocks all the way along the side here, we're going to place down a row of stone brick top slabs. Uh, once that's done, we want to go ahead and go to the last, um, basically the, the fifth and fourth one from the end here. So one, two, three, the fourth, fifth one, we're going to place down two iron trap doors, kind of coming off them with a space of one, like that out to the side there. Uh, once that's all finished there, uh, we're going to go ahead and move into our next row here. We're going to place down a stone brick top side, come off this stone brick upside down stair, polished hand side block on the inside here. After that polished hand side block, we're going to place down a upside down stone brick stair, and behind it, like we did before, a black wool block like that. We then want to place down a polished hand side block after the stone brick stair. We also want to place down an iron trap door, come off this stone brick uh, upside down stair here. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to take our polished hand site, we're just going to place down a row of one, two, and three more, so you have a nice row of four there. Um, and then out to the sides, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of stone brick stairs. So one, two, and three. On the side stairs here, we're going to place down signs around the front and side of the stair. And then we want to go ahead and just grab ourselves a quartz, or sorry, a snow block. Place down a snow block on this quartz uh, tops, or the stone brick tops. Having a lever like that off to the side. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, upside down, or my bad, it's actually going to be. Right here, yeah, it's going to be a stone break upside down corner stair. So an upside down stair like this, and it's going to be a stone break upside down stair coming off. And so you have a corner stair, upside down stair, and then we're going to place down an additional one and two more stairs. So you have a row of three of stairs coming off that corner stair. We then want to place down three uh, stone brick top slabs. So we're going to go into a one, two, and three stone brick top slabs forward, followed by one, two, and three polished downside blocks on the inside of it like this. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go and take our polished downside. Keep building toward the front, so one, two, three, four, and five polished anti blocks toward the front here. We then want to take our iron trap doors, and we're going to place down a row of iron trap doors on these five polished anti blocks here. We want to also place down two iron trap doors off these two stone brick top subs, and one iron trap door off this stone brick upside down stair. Once you have that done, and uh, it did take quite a while, but you should have something that looks just like this for the end of layer five. Um, I know that it was definitely a lot, and my voice is. Uh, definitely hurting, so I'm going to take a little bit of a break here. I recommend you guys do as well as a, we've already done a lot of work so far building it up. Uh, we, we only have really one more layer where it's going to be basically a lot of that, um, you know, detail and stuff on the sides. And once we get that done, it's going to be smooth sailing for the rest, guys. So with that, that's going to do it for layer number uh, five. Let's move on to layer number six. Alrighty guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 6. For layer 6 for us to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go ahead and go to this polished dance set block up the front here. We're going to place down one block that goes up and forward at an angle like this. Once that's done, we're going to place down one more block out to both sides, and then come off these two stone brick top slabs on both, or two polished dance set blocks on both sides. We're going to place down stone brick top slabs. We then want to place down these stone brick slab out to both sides. We're going to take wooden signs, place them down on the sides here, and same thing over here. Just like that, wooden signs on the side of those slabs. With that done, uh, going ahead and going back from this point here, uh, basically along the, the sides here, we're actually going to delete these stone brick slabs and actually supposed to be a row of five of polished and set across here. So my bad on that one. Um, so just going to put that, a wooden sign here on both sides. Same thing over here. So just like that. Once that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and then uh, take our uh, polished and set blocks we're going to go ahead and place down one block like this on both sides here. Stone brick slab to both sides. A wooden sign. A wooden sign like this. 
And from this point here, we're going to go ahead and start working on our side specifically. So for our right side here, to go ahead and get started, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall like this. After that cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a iron trap door with a sign on the side of it. We then want to place down two stone brick stairs. So one and two. We're going to go and place down a skeleton skull that is going to come off of this uh, stone brick stair here, with followed by two end rods like that out to the side. After that, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, skeleton skull, two end rods to the side here. For our next row, we're going to go and grab ourselves some quartz uh, top slabs here. We're going to place down a row of two of quartz top slabs, a sign on the first quartz top slab, a skeleton skull come up the second one, with again two end rods out to the side there. When that's done, we're going to take our stone brick, or we're, we're actually going to go and take polished anthracite blocks, and we're going to go and place down a row of polished anthracite blocks on the inside of these blocks like that to go and close that area off. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two polished anthracite blocks to come off these quartz blocks, two stone brick stairs, one signs on these stone brick stairs like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of cobblestone walls along this side here like this, followed by a row of three of polished anthracite blocks directly behind it. Once that's done, come off the stone brick stairs here, we're going to place down two uh, stone brick stairs coming off those uh, cobblestone walls with wooden signs coming off the front of the stairs like that. Um, after those stairs, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, wooden sign on the side of the cobblestone wall, and we want to take our polished anthracite blocks and fill in the space behind them. After that, we're going to place down a stone brick slab, polished anthracite block on the inside there, uh, next to this stone brick slab, a narrow polished anthracite block, quartz top slab, and we're going to place down two wooden signs around the quartz top slab like that. After that's done, next to the quartz top slab, a polished anthracite block, cobblestone wall, polished anthracite block, uh, a quartz top slab, and then we then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair on top of this iron bar like this with a wooden sign on the sides and front of the stair like this around. Behind the stair we're going to, go to place down a polished anthracite block. With that done we're going to place down a polished anthracite block on top of this one, go to the side one, two, three, four uh, polished anthracite blocks like that so you have a row of five. We're going to place down a row of four black wool blocks on top of this section here, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four stone brick top slabs coming off of them. When that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five polished anthracite blocks to this side here, followed by a stone brick stair face in this direction. Behind the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a narrow stair, followed by a row of one, two, and three stone brick stairs going toward the inside. When that's done there, we're going to take our quartz top slabs, we're going to place down a row of 1, 2, and 3 of quartz top slabs, we're going to take wooden signs and place down wooden signs on the side of these quartz top slabs. On the inside section here, we're going to place down one, my bad, I'm going to place down two rows of three of polished anthracite like that, going toward the middle from those quartz top slabs. With that done, we're going to place down a iron trap door like this, followed by a stone brick slab, or sorry, uh, sorry, a wooden sign, not even close there, uh, followed by three polished anthracite blocks going over. With that done, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, upside down stair that's going to go on top of this iron bar right here. Behind the stone brick upside down stair, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three polished anthracite blocks like this, and around the side and front of the stair, we're going to place down wooden signs. Once that's done, we're going to take our polished anthracite blocks, place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five across here. We're going to take our black wool blocks, place down a row of four here, and then we just want to take our stone brick top slabs here, like we did for the other elevator, do a row of four stone brick tops as a cross like that. For this section here, we're going to go and place down a row of one, two, three, four, five uh, polished anthracite blocks going forward, followed by a quartz top slab on the end. On the sides of this quartz top slab, we're going to go and place down wooden signs. We then want to go ahead and place down one and two more quartz top slabs over, wooden signs on the side of those blocks, and then we're going to place down a row of one and two polished anthracite blocks like that on the inside there to fill that space in. Once that's done there, we're going to place down an air polished anthracite block over, followed by an iron trap door on top of this quartz top slab here, and a wooden sign like that to the side. We then want to place down a row of one, two, and three snow brick stairs along the side here, followed by uh, three polished anthracite blocks alongside them. When that's done there, we're going to place down a narrow row of two of quartz top slabs, followed by wooden signs on the sides of them, like so. When that's done there, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this iron bar, followed by a stone brick stair on the front of the stair, and a sign on the back of it. So signs all around the stone brick stair like that. Going back from the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a polished anthracite block. And on the inside here, these quartz top slabs, we're going to place down two polished anthracite blocks as well. Uh, with that done, we're going to go and place down a polished anthracite block on top of this one. Go forward one, two, three, and four. Save a row of five there. 
We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of four of black wool on top of this section here, followed by a row of four of stone brick top slabs. We then want to place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five polished anzip blocks out to the side here, a stone brick stair on the end. We're going to place down signs around the stone brick stair like this. When that's done there, we're going to place down an iron bar going up from this stone brick stair like that. And we then want to go ahead and place down a um, was going to be a stone slab like this going up, followed by a stone top slab after it. And then we want to place down a stone slab that goes over like so. When that's done there, we're going to take our polished anzite blocks. And on the inside here, we're going to place down a row that goes one, two, three, four, five, and six blocks back. We then want to place down a quartz uh, top slab that's going to come off of this polished anzite block to the side. And it's going to be over this stone slab block, so like this to the side signs around it like so. Once that's done next to this polished anzite block, we're going to place down a stone brick ups and down stair, followed by a stone brick ups and down corner stair, and then there's a stone brick stair coming off of it, so you have something that looks like this in this section here. And we then want to go ahead and place down another one of these missile launchers. So we're going to place down an anvil on this quartz top slab, followed by a skeleton skull like that to both sides of it. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down a polished anzite block, come off this stone brick upside down stair. And we then want to place down a um, stone brick stair that's actually going to go ahead and come off this polished anzite block, block. So like this out to the side. And real quick for this section here, we're actually going to go and shift this real quick. So we're going to go and move this polished anzite block back. We're going to move this stone brick stair back and the stone brick corner stair back like this. So you're actually going to have a little bit wider of a gap here. And then this anvil is going to go on top of this section. We're going to delete that sign and place down these skeleton schools on both sides of this anvil. So just like that, and now that looks proper. That's how that's supposed to be, so make sure it's like that, right there in the back. Anyways, after that, we're gonna go and place down two quartz top slabs, come off the stone brick stair here, again on the front of the stair, and on the two quartz top slabs, we're gonna place down signs. We can also put down a sign on the side of this stone brick stair as well. Uh, going ahead and continuing back, we're gonna take our stone brick stairs, and we just wanna place down one, two, and three more stairs back, with wooden signs on the front of the stairs, and we just want to make sure we have a row of three of signs on those stone brick stairs. Once that's done, moving on to the back section here, we're going to place down a iron trap door coming off this stone brick stair like this. Once that's done, we're going to place down a polished anzite block that goes back from this stone brick stair like this. And then we also want to go and place down a yellow wool block up like this, followed by a stone slab that is going to come off of it. Actually, I think I'm a little bit ahead of myself here. And uh, I am, so real quick, uh, so for this right here, uh, we wanna go ahead and actually switch this up. So these stone brick stairs here are actually supposed to go out one more, and I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna have a row of what is going to be uh, five, or actually a row of six of polished anzite, so we're gonna have this full row filled in right here. And then when we get to this section here, we're gonna place down a stone brick top slab here in the middle, followed by a stone brick upside down stair on both sides. And then we wanna go ahead and place down a row of three of stone brick stairs across like this. We're gonna place down wooden signs on the front of these three stairs. And we also wanna go ahead and grab ourselves an iron frame. We can place down an iron frame on the side of the stair like that. Now across this side here, we're gonna place down three iron trap doors across. We then wanna place down a yellow wool block like this with a sandstone top slab coming off of it, iron trap door. We're gonna place down two polished anzite blocks over. And on these two polished anzite blocks, we're gonna place down two stone brick top slabs, two iron trap doors like that coming off those. Uh, continuing out to the side, we're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four polished anzite blocks across. It, basically two rows of four of stone brick top slabs and then a row of four of iron trap doors across like that. Once that's done, we're going to go and place down a stone brick stair that is going to come off this stone brick top slab here and then a stone brick stair after it. So this turns into a corner stair, regular stair, we're going to place down another stone brick stair after it so you have a row of two there of stairs. Then we then want to place down signs on the fronts and sides of these stone brick stairs here and the corner stair like that going across there. Uh, once that's done, behind this stone brick stair here, we're gonna take our polished anzite and just fill in the space across in between it to make sure it's all closed off and filled in. Uh, when that's done there, we're gonna take our cobblestone walls. We're gonna place down a row of two of cobblestone walls. So we're gonna go ahead and place down one and two cobblestone walls over. And then after that, we're gonna place down a uh, row of two of polished anzite blocks behind those cobblestone walls. Also, uh, we're going to go down from this cobblestone wall, place down a polished anzite block like that. 
With uh, that done, on top of this stone brick top slab here, we're going to grab ourselves an anvil and also a um, skeleton skull. We'll place down an anvil like this. And we actually have to delete this uh, this sign right here. So we're going to delete that sign right there and we're going to place down a skeleton skull. Come off that anvil on both sides there. With that done, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Come off this uh, cobblestone stair, followed by a um, stone brick stair like this. And we then want to go ahead and place down a sign on the side of the stair. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and then take our quartz slabs and uh, we want to go ahead and place down a row of one and two quartz top slabs along the side here. We're going to place down signs on the side of them and we can also grab ourselves an item frame and we can actually place down an item frame on the side here real quick. We can do that as well, uh, but we can also place down an item frame on the side of this quartz top slabs. Behind those quartz top slabs, we're going to place down two polished anesthetic blocks. Then out to the side here, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block like this, followed by a stone brick top slab, and then a nair quartz top slab here. I don't think that these iron trap doors were included in the previous layer, so make sure that you have those two iron trap doors right there. Uh, we then want to place down a sign coming off this cobblestone or this uh, quartz block, quartz or sorry, quartz top slab with a wooden with an iron frame next to it, like so. When that's done, there we're going to then place down a row of five of polished anesthetic across right here. Or sorry, that's actually a row of six. Uh, we're then going to place down a quartz top slab out to the side here, followed by signs around the sides here like this, and then a iron frame like that on the side there. Inside sp spot right here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of four black wool, followed by, uh, followed by a row of four of stone brick top slabs. So just like this across. Once that's done, we're going to take our polished anesthetic. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, four, five polished anesthetic blocks forward like that from the side there. Come off this polished anesthetic block, we're going to go forward, one, two, three, four, and five blocks. Along the side here, we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block that comes out on top of this uh, iron bar like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a quartz top slab with a sign coming off of it to the side. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick stair. After that stone brick stair, we're going to place down a row of two of quartz top slabs with wooden signs on the side of those top slabs like that. We then want to place down a total of two cobblestone walls. Along the side here, so one and two cobblestone walls. We're going to grab ourselves skeleton skulls and also some end rods. So I know we have some somewhere like that. And we're going to go and place down a uh, skeleton skull on the first cobblestone wall, two end rods out to the side. We're going to place down a sign next to this cobblestone wall. After the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down another quartz top slab. On the side of this quartz top slab, we're going to place down a wooden sign. We then want to place down two cobblestone walls again. Skeleton skull off the first one, two iron bars out to the side. We then want to place down two stone brick stairs across, like so. A skeleton skull come off the first stair, and then two um, end rods coming out to the side. Uh, this section here, we're going to place down a quartz top slab, followed by a skeleton skull on top of this uh, iron trap door. On the inside space here, we're going to take our polished anesthetic and just place down a row of polished anesthetic on the inside here, basically filling that space in like that. Once uh, that's all done there, we're going to place down a row of two of cobblestone walls, so one and two, and then we're going to place down two polished anesthetic blocks behind it. On this uh, section of end rod here, or on this section of uh, stone brick top slabs that come out, we're going to place down a redstone repeater like this to the side, and we also want to place down two signs coming off these two cobblestone walls. When that's done there, we're going to place down a quartz top slab coming off this cobblestone wall, followed by a uh, sign coming off the side of it. We then want to place down a polished anesthetic block like that, coming off that quartz top slab. After that, we're going to grab our still stone brick slabs, place down one and two stone brick slabs out to the side, followed by a snow block on the end here, like that. Once that's done, we're going to go then place down a quartz top slab, coming off the uh, stone brick slab right here, so one forward, and we're also going to place down a polished anesthetic block right behind the quartz top slab, and also a sign coming off of it toward the front. Also, uh, we have that section already filled in, so I didn't know we actually did that, so we're fine actually, we don't need to do that. Uh, but anyways, after this quartz top slab, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall, polished anesthetic block right behind it, skeleton skull coming off of it to the side, and uh, we're going to leave it as is right there. Or actually, we're going to have two end rods coming off of it like that to the side. Uh, we then want to go ahead and take our polished anesthetic. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four. Along the side here like that. Coming off the uh, second one here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab followed by a stone brick stair, and on both sides of the stone brick slab, we're going to place down a wooden sign. So just like that to both sides, and on the inside here, we're going to place down 
a row of four of polished anti blocks, one right here also, like that to fill that space in. And also on top of these two end rods here, two polished anti blocks. Going ahead and continuing on, we're gonna place down a cobblestone wall that is going to uh, come off of this uh, polished anti block right here, skeleton skull. And then we're gonna go and take our end rods and place down one and two out to the side. We then want to go ahead and grab our quartz top slabs. We're going to place down one and two quartz top slabs come off the skeleton skull, followed by two polished anti blocks. On the side here, those quartz top slabs, we're going to place down two wooden signs like this. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall come off that quartz top slab here, skeleton skull, two end rods out to the side, polished anti block right behind it. With that done, we're going to place down a row of two polished anti across here. We then want to grab ourselves stone slabs. We're going to place down a stone slab full block like this, polished anti block, row of two stone slabs, followed by over and another angle again, and then another row of two stone slabs like this, followed by a cobblestone wall in the corners like that. When that's done, there we're going to place down a quartz top slab, come off this stone slab block right here, wooden signs around the side of it, polished anti block on the inside here, another quartz top slab, and we can actually delete this sign, place down a sign like this, and then grab ourselves a um, item frame here. And we'll just put down an item frame on the side of it like that. After that quartz top slab there, we're going to place down a, skeleton, or a cobblestone wall. We then want to place down a stone brick stair with a sign on it. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down two cobblestone walls, followed by a sign on the first cobblestone wall. Um, after that, we're going to place down a row of three of, polished, or of uh, quartz top slabs, so row three across. Signs on the side here like this. Uh, with that done, we're going to place down a row of three of iron trapdoors. So one, two, and three, and signs on the side of these iron trap doors as well, all the way along the side there. Uh, with that done there, we're gonna place down a stone brick slab on top of this iron trap door. We then wanna place down a skeleton skull come off this stone brick slab, followed by one and two end rods like that coming off of it to the side there. With that done, we're gonna place down a quartz top slab that's going to come off this stone brick top slab and then a sign come off the the uh, quartz top slab like this and an item frame on this side right here we then want to take polished anisite and along the inside here of all these blocks that we just placed this row we're going to go ahead and take polished anisite and just place down a row alongside it when we get to this section here we're going to go ahead and place down a row of two of quartz top slabs a skeleton skull followed by a wooden sign on the side of this quartz top slab when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a row, uh, sorry, a cobblestone wall, a stone brick stair, and there's stone brick stair facing it. On this first stone brick stair here, we're going to place down a wooden sign, and we also want to place down a skeleton skull coming off this cobblestone wall with uh, two end rods coming off of it toward the front. And uh, yeah, that's going to go right there. And then we also want to place down a skeleton skull coming off this cobblestone wall with again two end rods coming off of it to the side. Once that's done there, we're going to go ahead and take our polished nanosite, we're going to place down a row of five on the inside here, and we're actually gonna just connect this all the way up to the front there like that. Um, after that um, stone brick stair, we're gonna place down a iron trap door with a sign on the side of it. And then we wanna go ahead and just place down a cobblestone wall, skeleton skull coming off of it, and then two end rods like this out to the side. And once you have that done, you have your outline done for this layer. Now it's, going, now it's time to move into the flight deck for it. All right guys, so moving into the flight deck. Now the flight deck here, we're gonna go ahead and just do the stripes, the colors, and basically all that stuff that will really stand out. And for this, we're just going to be using wool, so white wool, uh, red wool, and gray wool, and also some yellow wool. Now, for our stripes, to go ahead and get started here, the first thing we're starting with is, the, is with the front here. We're going to go and place down two white wool blocks like this, and then two white wool blocks like that. Now, the whole space in between them can be filled in with gray wool. We then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of gray wool here, and then we're going to have an alternating stripe here along the side. So we're going to go ahead and go red white, red, white, red, white, red, white, and red. So in total, until you have five blocks of red with four blocks of white in between them. We're gonna go and do the same thing over here on this side. So red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, like that. We then wanna go and go toward the middle here. So we're gonna go ahead and meet in the middle here, place down a white wool block. We're gonna go and go white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red and white. So you want to have a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six white blocks. And you can see we have say we have uh, the amount of white blocks right there. Once that's done, we want to go ahead and go to this section here. 
Now for this section, we want to go ahead and place down a red wool block starting from this point here. We're then going to go ahead and go back of a white wool, red wool, white wool block. We then want to go ahead and go over from the white wool block, place down a red wool block, white, red, white, red, white. We're going to go out to the side again, red wool block, red, white, red, white, red, white. And then from this point here, we're going to go ahead and go out to the side again. We're going to do a red, white, red, white, red, like this. We're then going to go ahead and go out to the side again. We're going to go ahead and do a white wool block, red, white, red, white, and red. After that, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, white block, red, white, red, white, like this. At this point right here, uh, we can go ahead and swap this polished andesite block out for a red wool block. We're going to do red, white, red, white, and red, like that, it's back to this point here. And we can't go any further with that, so we're just going to go ahead and stop it at that point there. For our next row over, uh, we're going to go ahead and go to this section here. We're going to start off up here. We're going to go ahead and go back from this stone slab uh, block right here. We're going to go ahead and place down two white wool blocks back. We then want to go over, place down one, two, three, four, five, and six. Over again. Another row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Another row over. Row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Or sorry, just five this time. We're gonna go over again. Row of one, two, three, four, five, and six. Over again. Row of one, two, three, four, five, like this. Over again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, and then over again. And we're gonna do a row of one, two, three, four, and five back like that. So basically, you should have a stripe that looks something like that. If you need to, you can pause the video, take a look at it from there. Uh, so for our next row here, uh, we're gonna start off by placing down a row of two of white wool. Going, going back from the stone slab block, or actually, um, yeah, it's going to be a row of two, actually, my bad. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and place down a row of two yellow, two white, two yellow. We're then going to place down two white, two yellow, two white. Over again, two yellow, two white, a yellow. Uh, we're going to go over again, do a yellow. Uh, we're going to do two white, uh, two yellow, a white over like this, two yellow, two white, over again, we're going to do two yellow, two white, two yellow, and then we're going to do a white. After that, we're going to go from this white, we're going to go over one white, two yellow, and one white like that, uh, going back to this section here. Uh, with that finished off there, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, basically move to our next row out to the side. So for our next row here, this row starts about this section right here, so after this cobblestone wall here. So for this, we're going to go ahead and replace, uh, well, we actually can't replace any of these. So we're going to go ahead and actually skip back to this section here. This section here, we're going to place down one, two, three, uh, four white wool blocks. That's all we can place in this section here. And then it would go to this point normally. Uh, from this point here, we're going to go, we're going to go one, two, three, four, and five, white wool. We're gonna go over, one, two, three, four, and five. Over again, one, two, three, four. And that will bring us back to this section here. Uh, after the, after the kind of like this section here, we're gonna go ahead and continue our white wool. So we're gonna do one and two after this polished dance that block here. And then we wanna go over, uh, actually we wanna do a row three, and then we wanna go over again and place down two like that to the side. And uh, once that's uh, done there, uh, the next thing for us to do would be to go ahead and take our uh, gray wool and we're just going to go and take gray wool and all the empty spots in between the hole and the stripes or in between each of the stripes we're going to go and take it and fill it in with gray wool. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick and I'll see you guys once we have this all filled in. And just like that once we have that all filled in for the deck you can see we have a nice solid filled in deck here like this all the stripes are filled in and you can see you can walk across the deck here there's no holes anything like that in the uh, deck or anything like that and once you have that complete that is going to do it for our long layer six from now on I can promise you guys from here on out It's going to get easier and easier as we can progress for the build uh, But we have that out of the way and it's time to move on to our next layer Layer seven. Alrighty guys, so moving on to our next layer. We have layer seven 
For layer 7, for us to go ahead and get started, uh, it's mainly just finishing off some detail around the sides and starting to get stuff set up for, or basically finishing the top deck, really. So for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down iron trap doors on top of these two stone brick stairs here on both sides. And now we want to go ahead and go to each one of these quartz top slabs and place down stone buttons on top of them. And it's going to be for each uh, quartz top slab going all the way around the build, also on top of the snow block. So we're just going to follow the outline of the build. Wherever we have these quartz top slabs, we're just going to place down stone buttons on top of them. And the same thing over here. Just like this and along this side as well. All the way along here. And just like that. And that will bring us to the front. Now once that's done, we're going to take our stone buttons and on the um, snow blocks here and basically going all the way along here, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 stone buttons along the side here. We're going to do another row of 11 of stone buttons on this side as well. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go to the outsides and we're going to place down a long row of stone buttons to the outside. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 stone buttons back. And same thing over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stone buttons back like that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick slabs here. We're going to go ahead and place down two stone brick slabs, so a stone brick slab like this. And then toward the middle here, same thing over here, like this. Now at this point here, we, we can go ahead and put in the catapult that would be on the deck. So for this, we're actually going to go ahead and break these two great blo wool blocks here. And we're going to place down two stone brick stairs like this um, to kind of get the start there section for the catapult. And it's going to be the same thing over here, like that. And the stone buttons kind of carry that uh, design on. So that's going to be like that on both sides there. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some yellow carpet and on top of this these two uh, gray wool blocks over here on the right side we're going to place down two gray carpet. Also for the whole front section here we can go ahead and go to e each one of these polished anti blocks and place down gray carpet to go ahead and keep a nice consistent gray color for the top deck here so we don't have the polished anti or anything like that. Um, over here we can even do the little tip uh, pieces there and we're just going to go ahead and go all the way around here like this filling in this whole space. And like that, we also have this section here, which I forgot to fill in, so we're just going to make sure that's filled in there. And then our gray carpet, all the way around in this section, we're going to go ahead and place down gray carpet over the black wool blocks. Again, all these polished anti blocks, and so on. Um, there's nothing really else for us to do up here in the front. So one thing also is that we actually want to go and take yellow carpet, and we're actually going to go ahead and outline the section around the uh, elevators here. So it kind of just adds a little... I guess caution or you know precaution type of uh, warning there. Um, also on the front here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a cobblestone wall and place down one more up from that point there. I'm um, going ahead and continuing on. We're going to go ahead and outline all the rest of our elevators here. So it's going to go all the way around here like this. Same thing for this one, like that. And we also want to go ahead and outline this one over here. So just like that. And uh, continuing on, we just want to go in again, take all of our gray carpet and just place them down. Or actually, we want to also place down yellow carpet on this one right here for that one on the back there. Uh, but anyways, continuing on, we just really want to go ahead and take our yellow carpet and just kind of basically put it on all of the polished andesite, black wool blocks, anything like this. So that we, when we look at it from down below, we don't see any polished andesite blocks kind of infecting the deck. And the deck's all really kind of nice and, um, you know really nice and kind of clean now one thing that does happen on the back here is that we do need to kind of actually do some of the striping here with the white carpet and all that so uh we're gonna go ahead and continue this we're gonna go ahead and place down a white carpet like this going back and then we want to go ahead and go over two yellows like this back and then the white carpet here this is going to go over two white carpets like this this section here we're gonna go ahead and go one white carpet back followed by a second and then we want to go ahead and go two over like that and then we can just take gray carpet Cover up these polished anti blocks and all that stuff to go ahead and clean up the deck here like this and all the way up to this point right here so now when you look at it, you see it looks nice and clean like this um, also when we get to this section here uh, we do want to go ahead and place this little thing on the side here so this actually is going to go in this space here we're going to break these polished anti blocks in its place we're going to place down four iron bars around in kind of a square shape like that on the back there uh, anyways, going ahead and taking our gray carpet and continuing, we have the black wool here. We're going to go and fill in like so. And same thing up here, this section. We can fill this whole space in as well. 
and that's just going to get basically filled in. So now looking at it, you can see we don't really see any of that uh, polished anodes except over here on this side. So we're going to continue uh, over here filling this space in. Uh, one thing to note is that we don't want to put on these stone slabs, stone slab full blocks. There, we're going to leave those alone. Uh, but all the rest of this stuff here is fair game. And this section here, we want to make sure you have two white carpets here. And then this, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down three white carpets right there in that section to continue those stripes. Um, so this is just going to go ahead and go back along the side here. All the way down along here like that. And you can see your deck looks something just like that. It looks really clean um, and all that stuff. Now from this point here, it's time to go ahead and move into the getting the tower set up. So for the tower here, um, it does get, you know, not too complicated, but it's just, you know, a matter of setting it up. So for the tower here, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a sponge that is going to go ahead and go on top of this stone brick stair here. We then want to place down a polished anti block off the sponge to this side and then a stone brick um, top slab going forward. And then after that, we're going to place down a, uh, or basically two wooden signs around the stone brick top slab. Also coming off the sponge, we're going to place down a stone button and on top of this, uh, quartz top seven to place down a skeleton skull and also on top of this one right here now from this point here going back from the sponge there we're going to take our polished dance site we're going to place down a row of one two and three after that we're going to go and place down a second or a second row three followed by a third and then a fourth to the side there like that we don't want to place down a stone brick up and down stair come off this polished dance site block like this two gray carpets behind it to kind of close that area off and keep that deck color going going across consistent and then on the back here, this polished dance site block here is actually going to be a stone brick upside down. Or my bad. The next one over is going to be a stone brick upside down stair. Again, we're going to go and make this great carpet here. And we then want to grab ourselves some iron bars here. And we're going to place down one and two iron bars right there. And uh, that great carpet will have to be deleted, but it's going to look something like that for that section there. And uh, once that's done, we also want to go ahead and go to this section here. We do have some... Uh, stone brick slabs you want to put into play here for uh, some more catapults that are located here on the ship. So for this uh, section here, we want to go ahead and go to uh, this section. We're going to uh, basically place down a stone brick slab on top of this white carpet and then one over. We're going to take our stone buttons. We're going to go and place down a row of six forward. So we're going to go and go one, two, three, four, five, and six forward. We then want to go and go over to a narrow row of six. So we have one and uh, this block right here can actually get replaced with a gray wool block like this. So we have a stone button. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, we can go over again. We can do one, two, three, four, five, and six forward. And uh, this is actually just going to go and go all the way to the end here, like that. And that'll be your one catapult here. There's also a catapult located uh, right here in this section. So right on top of the, right on top of uh, this section here. And we can go ahead and place down stone brick stair like this, followed by a second stair after like that for the start of catapult. And over here we can do a very similar thing. So two stairs, kind of like that. Uh, for setting up that catapult too. In this section here, we can't really do the stone buttons too much. I mean, we can kind of do them, but uh, just with the carpet and stuff like that, they're really not doable. So we're just gonna have to kind of disregard them and kind of leave them alone and, you know, the, we'll just have the one line that runs along the side there. Um, anyways, once you have that all complete, that is going to do it for layer 7 of the build. And with that, we can move on to our next layer, uh, layer number 8. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 8. Basically, what we have really left is to do the conning tower and a few other minor things. So, starting off with our first minor thing, we're going to go and place down an end rod on top of this, polished or this cobblestone wall. Followed by a placeholder block on top of it. On top of this block, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And then we're gonna delete this block and then place down an end rod like that. And that's gonna finish that pull up there in the front. Going to the back section here, we're gonna go ahead and grab skeleton skulls. And on each one of these iron trap doors, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull here, going around in about a 45 degree angle like this to create this little uh, doohickey device thing on the back here. Once that's done, it's time for us to go and focus in on the conning tower. So for the conning tower here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves uh, some iron trap doors and a snow block. We're gonna place down a snow block on top of this sponge block, followed by a uh, lever coming off of it. We then want to take our iron trap doors, wrap iron trap doors around the snow block like this, and then we're gonna take some uh, signs and wrap signs around the the uh, iron uh, 
trapdoors on the corners there. Uh, we then also, also want to place down an iron trapdoor on this stair right there. And on the back section here, we're going to leave that uh, space open. From this point here, we're going to take our polished nanosite, just place down uh, basically three rows of three here to make the kind of neck there uh, for the tower like that. And we also want to go ahead and place down a iron trap door that is going to basically come off this block by one, uh, basically going one block forward. And other than that, the last thing for us to do is just to go ahead and go in the front here and place down two iron bars, which I forgot to do one of the iron bars in the previous layer. Um, and we also want to place down one iron bar going up like this on the back there. Um, with that, that's going to do it for layer 8. With that, let's go ahead and move into layer 9. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer 9. For layer 9, to start off with, we're going to go ahead and take our polished andesite, and we want to go ahead and basically do a total of 3 rows of 5 across those 3 rows of 3. So just like this, and then we're going to place down one more row of 5, going toward the front and going toward the back, like that. So you have basically something that looks just like that. With that done, on the front here, we're going to place down an anvil, followed by a skeleton skull to both sides of the anvil. We then want to go ahead and go to the side here. We're going to place down a stone brick top slab on top of the, or come off the side of this polished nanosite block. With that done, on this side of the tower, uh, we just want to go ahead and uh, replace this polished nanosite block here. We're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door down below it. And in this place, we're going to place down an anvil with a skeleton skull come off the side of it for what would be another one of these rocket launchers. And also, we want to place down a skeleton skull come off of it like that way as well. So one of those rocket launchers again on the side there. Uh, with that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and go to uh, this section up here. We're going to place the, a snow block in this place right here, followed by a stone brick top slab going forward, and then a iron trap door coming off of it like that. That right there is going to do it for layer 9. With that, let's move on to layer 10. Moving on to layer 10, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking our polished dance site. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of five of polished dance site across the front here. We're going to place down a snow block on top of this uh, stone brick top slab here followed by a skeleton skull on top of this iron trap door. With that done to the sides here, we're going to place down an anvil on top of the stone brick top slab, followed by a uh, skeleton skull on both sides. We then want to place down a row of polished andesite along the side here, like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on to the back here, we're going to place down a snow block like this, followed by a polished andesite block over. We then want to go ahead and place down a stone brick, or another polished andesite block over, followed by a stone brick top slab in this spot. And we're going to go and take signs and wrap signs around these uh, stone brick top slabs. When that's done there, we're going to take our polished dance site. We're going to go and place down one, two, and three blocks forward. And from this point here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some cobblestone walls. We're going to place down a cobblestone wall come off this uh, polished dance site block there. And then coming off of the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a polished dance site block back like that. Now from this point here, you're going to go ahead and need to make the banners. Now I'm not going to show you guys in the tutorial how to make the banners. We're just going to be making an E a 6 and a 5 for the conning tower. Um, I'll be linking the tutorial down in the description to show you guys how to make the numbered and lettered banners. But we're going to have the E on the back here and also on the front, like so. We then want to place the 6 and the 5 here on the side, and same thing over here, the 6 and the 5, like so. And this skeleton skull actually has to be deleted, but you want the 6 and 5 on that side as well. And that'll be the 65 there for the Enterprise, the E obviously for the Enterprise as well, and um, all that fun stuff. Uh, with that done, that's going to do it for layer 10. Let's move on to layer 11. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We have layer 11. For layer 11, we're going to start off by taking our nether brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of five of upside down nether brick stairs across the conning tower facing toward the front. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to place down a uh, nether brick stair going back from each one on the sides. So it's going to go back from these stairs and it's going to create a corner stair like this on both sides. And coming off these stairs, we're going to place down wooden signs all the way around. So it's going to go all the way around, like so. And you're going to basically have your windows here for the Enterprise that go all the way around like that for the tower here. Uh, when that's done, over here to the side, we're actually going to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab coming off of this uh, narrow brick stair. So we're going to delete that uh, sign on it. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall coming off that, followed by a polished dance block there on the inside. We then want to place down two polished dance blocks, so one sticks out to that cobblestone wall. And then we're going to place down a black wool block that is going to basically be on this polished andesite block here. And around the black wool block, we're going to go and place down stone buttons like so. With uh, that done, we're going to take our uh, black wool blocks. We're going to go and run a row, one, two, and three more blocks over. And we want to go and place down three stone buttons or two more stone buttons over, followed by a stone brick top slab coming off the last black wool block over. 
In the corner spot here, we're going to take our anvil, we're going to place down our anvil, and like we did before, two skeleton skulls like that on the sides there. And to the very side here, we're going to place down a stone brick uh, upside down corner stair coming off this narrow brick stair here, and a stone brick stair coming off this anvil. And on the inside here, we're going to place down two black gold blocks like that to close off that section there. We can also choose to fill in this whole space here of polished andesite just to kind of keep it cleaner, nicer, and filled in. Uh, but it, that's not really a priority. You don't have to do that. But anyways, once that's all filled in there and good to go, that's going to do it for layer 11. Let's move on to layer 12. Moving on to our next layer, we have layer 12. For layer 12, we're going to start off by going to the, to the top and the uh, front up here. We're going to take our narrow brick stairs, place down a narrow row of five across the top there like so. Once that's done, we're going to go to the left side and left side only place down a stair back. So you have what we did before. So the corner stair. And then we want to take signs and place down signs all the way around the uh, narrow brick stairs like this for the front windows on the conning tower and on the side here we're not going to place down a sign we're actually going to place down a skeleton skull coming off of it to the side followed by a polished anside block we then want to place down a polished anside block on the inside there with a sign on the side of it uh, once that's done we're going to place down a row of two polished anside located in this section right here and actually this space actually right in here Actually, no, we'll leave it as a, we'll leave it as a polished anesthetic block, that's fine. Uh, we're going to go and then place down a cobblestone wall, so let's grab one. Uh, basically on top of this black wool block right here, and we're going to place down a sign on the side of it. Coming off the black wool block, we're going to place down a upside down stair. Or sorry, come off the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down an upside down stair. And then come off the cobblestone wall to the side, we're going to place down a row of three of stone brick stairs across. Signs on the first two. And then coming off this uh, stair right here, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. And this stair is going to have a skeleton skull that comes off of it like so. And uh, also to the side of it like that. Um, or actually, sorry, just, just the one side is going to come off of just the front. Um, and then for this corner space here, we're going to go ahead and just leave that space open. And we're just going to go ahead and place down a uh, row of two of polished dance right here on top of those stone brick stairs. Uh, once that's done here, uh, or actually that's going to be a row of two of uh, stone brick stairs. So this is actually going to be one and two stone brick stairs, and it's going to have signs along the side of them like this. And we can also place down a sign on the side of this stone brick stair. And we can also grab ourselves a item frame. And to clean this up a little bit, we can put down an item frame here, coming off this uh, stone brick stair like that to the side there. We can kind of clean that up, and also this sign right here is going to be replaced with a um, skeleton skull just like that so both sides have the same thing there anyways that right there is going to do it for layer 11 let's move on to layer 12 all right guys move on to our next layer we have layer 12 for layer 12 to begin with we're going to place down a narrow brick up sound stair on top of the stair in the corner followed by a corner stair that comes off that narrow brick stair like that go back from this narrow brick stair and place down a narrow stair going back from it and we then want to take signs and wrap them around these stairs like so so one two one sign right there, and then coming off this narrow brick stair here, we're going to be placing down a narrow brick top slab, followed by a iron trap door coming off of it, like this, toward the front there. Once that's done, going toward the back side here for our tower, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a uh, wooden sign on the side here, like so. And then on the inside here, we're going to be placing down a row of two of stone brick slabs like this. We also want to go and take our polished anesthetic blocks and we're going to place down a polished anesthetic block right there in between those narrow brick um, stairs like that. And we can go ahead and continue on behind these, these uh, stone brick slabs here. We're going to place down two uh, polished anesthetic blocks and we're actually going to go ahead and swap that sign out for an item frame and then we're going to place down two signs on these two stone brick uh, stairs or two stone brick slabs just like that. Once uh, that's done there, we're going to place down a uh, sign coming off this stone brick slab like that. For the back section here, we're going to go ahead and just place down a polished anesthetic block on top of this stone brick stair. Uh, from that point here, we're going to go ahead and place down a iron trap door, or actually, sorry, my bad, it's going to be a end rod. Uh, but first, we're going to place down a placeholder block, skeleton skull on top, and then place down the end rod like that. Uh, we then will place down a iron trap door, followed by a sign come off the side of the iron trap door. Uh, we're also going to place down a skeleton skull on top of this stone brick upside down stair. Continuing to work our way out to the side, we're going to place down a stone brick slab coming up from this stone brick stair going up and at an angle like this. And we also want to place down an iron trap door on this uh, polished anesthetic block with a sign like this and then an item frame like that 
on the side of the previous iron, uh, the previous iron trap door. This side here is skeleton skull on this polished anti block, and we also want to place down a uh, item frame on the side there like that. Uh, once that's done there, we're going to place down a row of two of stone brick stairs coming off this iron trap door, so one and two stone brick stairs going forward, and we also want to place down a snow block on top of this polished anti block here, and a sign on this the front of the stair like so. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to take our polished anti, we're going to place down a polished anti block after the stone brick stair like that going forward. And we then want to place down a stone brick stair, polished anti block, and then stone brick stair over like this. And we're going to go and take uh, skeleton skulls, place down one and two skeleton skulls on the side here, followed by two end rods going forward from the, uh, the uh, skeleton skulls like that. For the remaining space in the inside here, we can just go and take polished anti and fill the whole space in uh, like so. And actually one block we're going to change is we're actually going to be going ahead and placing down a cobblestone wall in this spot right there. But anyways, the top of your tower should look something just like this, all the way around here, like so. And uh, with that all complete, that is going to do it for layer 12. With that, let's move into our final layers, which are going to basically be layers 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers, which are going to be layers 13 through 20. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our final layers. We have layers 13 through 20. For these layers, to go ahead and get started, we're going to go ahead and place down light gray carpet on these narrow break ups downstairs. We then also want to place down a skeleton skull on this iron trap door on the front here. On this polished anti block here, we're going to place down a snow block with a stone button on top of it. We're also going to place down a stone button on top of this snow block over here to this side. Once that's done there, we're going to, go to place down a snow block on top of this polished anti block here with a stone button on top of it. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a nether brick stair. We're going to place down a nether brick upside down stair on top of this polished anti block like this, followed by a nether brick top slab going forward. When that's done there, we're going to grab ourselves some stone buttons and also some ladders. We're going to place down a row of three of narrow brick full blocks on top of the stair. They go across ladders like this across and then a stone button on both ends like so for this little radar bit on the top. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to uh, this polished anti block right here. We're going to go ahead and be placing down a end rod right here. We're going to go ahead and skip a space uh, or basically just go to the next space over. Place down a place server block, skeleton skull, and an end rod down below it, like that. Uh, when that's done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater, a cobblestone walls, and also some iron uh, trap doors, or sorry, iron bars. And actually, one adjustment over here is that this is actually supposed to go out on these stone bricks, or these stone brick stairs here. So we're just going to go ahead and shift this out to the side, like this. So just push it out one block, and uh, you'll be good to go there. Um, anyways, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on, or actually two cobblestone walls up from this, uh, actually let's do one uh, up from this polished anti block. We're going to place that iron bar on top of it, come off the iron bar. We're going to go ahead and go one iron bar forward, followed by an iron bar out to both sides like this for the front. And we also want to go ahead and go down to a row three of iron bars like this for another kind of like little radar bit on the front here. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go and place down a cobblestone wall that is going to go on top of this polished anti block and then we want to go ahead and place down a redstone comparator going back from this on this top space there. Um, this uh, snow block is actually going to get moved to the side so it's going to go on top of this cobblestone wall and we're going to place down a stone button on top of it there. We then want to place down a cobblestone wall going up from this. We're going to place down a stone brick uh, upside down stair on top of it and then going toward the back here uh, we want to go ahead and place down a stone brick top slab. Also going to the sides we're going to go ahead and place down one and two and one and two stone brick top slabs to both sides of that stone brick stair. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and place down a cobblestone wall, or yeah, cobblestone wall going up from that stone brick upside down stair. We're gonna place down a wither skull, or sorry, a normal skeleton skull coming off of it toward the front, and then on top of the stone brick top slab, we're gonna place down a skeleton skull on the back there. Uh, we wanna go ahead and then go to the uh, stone brick top slabs on the outsides here, place down an end rod on top of them on both sides, and then we're gonna go and take our wooden signs and place down wooden signs on both sides of this cobblestone wall like that. Going ahead and continuing to our next row up, we're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this cobblestone wall. Going from the back of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab. We're going to go and take signs, place them down on uh, the sides here of the stone brick stair, so both sides of it. And then come off the front of the stone brick stair, we're going to place down a skeleton skull like that. Going ahead and continuing up, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair. That is going to go on top of uh, this 
stair like that or actually my bad it's supposed to be the other way so it's going to be just like this and then it's gonna have a skeleton skull coming off of it on the back here coming off of it toward the front we're gonna place tiny stone brick top slab and then we want to go and grab ourselves end rods and then to both sides of this uh, stone brick stair we're gonna place down two end rods to the side same thing over here two end rods and then on the very top here we're gonna go ahead and place down a redstone comparator on the top stone brick top slab cobblestone wall on top of the stair and then an end rod on top of the cobblestone wall and with that all done that is going to complete my design for the uh, bath to build version of the cvn 65 enterprise aircraft carrier hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use obviously it's a huge build and uh, with these huge builds i really do ask that you guys give me credit for it if you guys do end up using it a lot of work and effort went into this build and it took a lot of time to record the video so hopefully you guys um you know are able to enjoy the build but also give me credit for it uh you know when it comes down to this build as long as you guys give me credit for it, your free to ever projects you guys are working on it could be a sign of the build the link to my channel or this video if this is bringing social media sites just be sure i get proper credit for the build and that's all i ask for in doing these tutorials it helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these types of content so uh, as long as you guys give me credit for it, enjoy the build. Other than that, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.